How's it going everybody? I'm Bob and I'm getting ready to show you an AI that can take full control of a Windows, Linux, or Mac OS computer. It is called the Self -com Operating Computer Framework and it is currently open source. Anybody that wants to can go out to GitHub and get this right now. I'll put the links in the comments below as well as a how-to video later. But for now, I'm going to show you what this thing can do. It's pretty amazing. It uses uh, OpenAI's GPT-4 vision in order to take screenshots of the screen, then process the image, and then locally, it's going to use some Python tools to take control of the mouse and the keyboard and complete the action that you ask it to take. And yes, it can do multiple actions. Um, it's, it's not perfect but it is progress. So check it out. What I'm doing right now is I'm inside of the Python virtual environment. I set it up based on the instructions on the GitHub repo for it. So I know there's probably other ways of doing this, but th this is how I did it. And I'm going to type operate in here, which launches the, the program. You'll see a green screen pop up says self operating computer, ask a computer to do anything. Okay. That's what we'll do. And what we're going to have it do is go to my live stream. I made this video that you're watching right now on a Twitch live stream. And I'm going to see if it can get to that live stream by just giving it instructions too. So I'm going to say, go watch uh, LTN Bob's Twitch live stream. And we're going to see it take action. As soon as you hit enter, one of the first steps is it takes a screenshot. And then it, oh, it's going to go open up Google Chrome. Google Chrome is open. And it's going to, let's see what it does next. It's, uh, I would imagine it would try to click in the URL bar. There we go. It clicked the URL bar. And it types in the right thing. And it got to my live stream. How cool is that? Pretty awesome if you ask me. This thing can take control of your computer and it can do some things, right? It will also uh, create, it gives you logs, if you notice, of everything it's doing, which I really like their uh, transparency, because if you let an AI get control of your computer and it's not transparent, who knows what it'll do, right? Um, this thing could have trolled me and went to an inappropriate site or something, or it could have even went and done a, a nice little... Um, this thing could have trolled me oops. to an weird site or something or it could have even went and done a that was my stream there or it could have even done um you know a rick roll which that would have been classic if it did that but it gives you a summary at the end of the steps that it had to take and how it accomplished them pretty cool tech right you can also have it do you know it related stuff i am an it and cybersecurity instructor and educator and content creator so I, I like to try to get it to do things that are, I would tell my students to do, right? So I'm going to have it find the, and notice I'm being broad with these instructions, find the IP address of this computer and then ping Google's public DNS servers. Enter. And let's see what it does with that, because that's going to require a little bit of knowledge of Windows and to know what's in Windows and to know a little bit about basics of networking, what ping is. Oh, I said then pink. Oh, I, I had a typo in there. Let's see if it can pick up on that. All right, it opened up command prompt. It typed IP config. Let's see if it can catch me even in my typo. Will it try to ping or will it try? And then it tried to ping, so it knew that I did a typo. So there you have it. Check this project out. This is called the Self-Operating Computer Framework. It is an incredible tool. And check out the future video I do on um, how to set this up. This is pretty simple, straightforward process, but there are a couple caveats with it you got to be aware of. Is this the future of computers and using computers? Will there be an OS that allows us to control it entirely through hu just human language? 
How will this affect jobs, technical and non-technical alike? Will this be disruptive? Could this, as this progresses in the coming weeks and months? How could this help us in our jobs now? Those questions are in the air. I recommend getting on board with this, not trying to stop it. Because here we are, we have a computer using agents now. This is officially a computer using agent in the early stages. I have no doubt we will very likely see Microsoft create something like this with Copilot. Why not? This is just a glimpse at that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out the next one and keep learning.